Hey guys, and welcome to the first installment of a new Let's Play Tabletop side series, or sub-series, however you want to title it. Uh, Let's Play Tabletop U, uh, where I'm going to do basically the same premise of the Let's Play Tabletop series, what I did with the Switch, putting it into tabletop mode and playing it, uh, but instead with the Wii U playing off the gamepad tablet using... Uh, there it is. Wii Remote. And Nunchuck. Uh, so... I hope it'll let me do this. I'm now seeing that, uh, maybe not, because the first thing was requiring a... Nope! Okay, cool. For a second there, I thought I was going to have to stop the video and, and start a whole other game, uh, because I never tried to do it this way. Uh, let's see, we are on my save file, so I'm not entirely sure what I have and haven't done. Uh, because when we when I beat through this game originally, uh, I played it with my brother and his wife at the time. Um, so all of the that completed data is on their system. So whatever's on here is what I came back to redo. And I don't know if I completed that or not. So let's go through here. Let's see what uh, what is actually available. What is this? 3B. Where does this go? Oh, you know, I I actually didn't... I, I realized I didn't introduce the, the game. Usually I say the title of the game, and I kind of just jumped in to try to figure out what to do with this. Uh, this is Super Mario 3D World. I figured Mario would be fitting because this is supposed to be the 35th anniversary, I believe, of Mario. Or at least this year is. Um, there's been some rumors that some of the older games are going to get ported. There's always been rumors that this game is going to get ported. So while at this moment it's an exclusive, this is going to be the first place that we start off in this series. And since I don't really want to just go trying to find uh, where I last left off, let's just start with 4-1. It's not the beginning of the game, it's not the end of the game, it's probably like a good, nice, central place just to show you guys how this would look to play it basically the way that I'm playing it. Um, so I know quality's not great, and a lot of people, when they do these types of things, they do uh, screen capture and stuff. I had somebody comment on that, so I figured I'd address it anyway. Uh, that was never the point of this series. This was to show it actually working in this, which I know the way it looks for me is a little bit different than the way my terrible camera is recording it, uh, but it'll be a much closer feel than just seeing gameplay uh, going. So let me focus for just a second before I die. That's another common theme in my videos is that I end up dying a lot because I'm not great at multitasking apparently. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I I remember enjoying this uh, when it first came out. Uh, I know it wasn't one of the first ones. It has been some time since then. I know I hate saying that because some people are like, oh, it really wasn't that far back. And it really wasn't. Um, this would have been 2013, I think. Yeah, it was the year after the Wii U came out. The Wii U came out in 2012. Uh, it was that next... Uh, holiday season that this game came out. So that's been seven years? Six and a half? Oh man, I, uh, I need to really get through here. Uh, excuse me, madam, I need to... There you go, thank you. Okay. So... Oh cool, we got a star. Let's not waste this and try to hit as many of these guys as we can. Which I'm gonna waste it anyway, I'm not hitting anybody. Um, oh well, we made it, yay! Uh, another thing I feel like I should address, since I'm talking about the one comment, which I'm not mad about, I I want to get that out there. I, it was definitely a, a very uh, important point to bring up, especially if you're jumping in this far into me doing this. And I also did a huge skip in time. Um, because I stopped doing them because of copyright issues while I was trying to still 
get and keep monetization. Which actually, I think at the time I was just trying to keep it. Uh, and then YouTube changed their policy anyway, so it didn't really matter. Um, so I just I stopped doing them because all of season two, the three episodes that it got, every single video was flagged for music, which I feel is a little ridiculous because of course the music is copyrighted, the gameplay is copyrighted, but they never said, oh, you can't use this, this footage. They just said, stop using the music. And if you take out the music, you'd also be taking out my commentary on everything. So then you really would just have uh, copyrighted imagery with nothing. So I, I really didn't see the point in that. Uh, I feel like I got off track. I, I forgot what I was trying to bring up the point to. Um, oh yeah, the fact that these aren't... I don't do complete uh, game, uh, playthroughs, I just do, oh man, I'm not, <laughs> I am not gonna make it back up, I should probably just give up here, I gave up a little too much, I was trying to make it to that ledge, and, and just fell right through, uh, but at least I got to the check flag, so we're kind of okay, uh, but anyway, what I was trying to say is that, no, I don't do the entire game in this, I just do whatever I can fit into the length of time that I'm trying to do. So, the first few seasons, that actually was just, um, like five minutes or whatever my phone could hold, uh, as where now I've got a different phone and I can do more like 15 to 20 minutes, even longer than that. Uh, but 20 minutes seems like uh, about the right amount, somewhere between 15 and 20. That's why I try to stop it about there, if there's a good point to cut off at. If I don't catch it, I'll keep going, like I did at Animal Crossing, and it ended up being 25 minutes uh, for Season 3 of the regular series. Uh, but I feel like this is probably not the best thing to be talking about when playing a game and, and really trying to get you to see the best parts of this. Um, because I really, I really should be selling this to you. Because it, it's one of the few reasons left to still own a Wii U. And I hate to say that, but they ported every single game that was worth having a Wii U for over to the Switch. And there's still a, a good handful left, so I still have mine. Um, for things like, for like this, Super Mario 3D World, uh, Pikmin 3, Yoshi's Woolly World, Sonic Lost World... Um, trying to think of some. Oh, uh, Star Fox Zero is another. Like that was one of my favorites on here. Now the my all time favorite was Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE, which back in January just got ported to the Switch. So of course mine left, and I uh, got it on the Switch. Which they didn't add like a ton that made it worth it, but. The Switch itself brings a lot of reasons to have that. The fact that you can take it on the go, uh, that you can put it into sleep mode and not sit there and waste electricity with it being plugged into the wall. Uh, you can actually just pause it right there, and as long as your battery doesn't die, you continue right from where that's at. Um, just those two things in itself, and a lot of other things that the Switch brings, is a reason to own anything on the console, which is why... Anything that I own that gets put on the system, I uh, I definitely go out of my way to re-get on there. Because it's kind of becoming my favorite system. <laughs> I know a lot of people probably disagree with that, but, I mean, I'm just thinking, like, if I had this back as a kid, the Switch, hell, even the Wii U, uh, gaming would have been a lot better. Because a lot of time was lost in just the fact that I couldn't always have the TV uh, because my parents would want it or somebody else would want it. My brother would want to play games. Uh, that kind of thing. So we didn't get the choice to just put it into handheld mode or take the system off the dock and just go play it in your room or whatever. So there was a lot of things that would have been better back then. And this is still really not talking about uh, Mario 3D World. I'm sorry. I've just really gotten to a tangent. Uh, and I'm also not paying attention. I just... 
Oh. See that that's what happens when you're not when you're not watching where you're bouncing. Uh, you just you drop straight down onto the piranha plant and die. And now I'm back at the beginning. Terrific. But no, I mean this I I think the cat suits was a, a really cool idea, uh, bringing that into this game, which I did in that last level, uh, and I probably should have talked about it more then, but, I mean, just being able, you, you could climb up, you could, you could pounce on things, uh, so it, it brought a whole lot of really cool gameplay styles to, uh, the Mario series. But I think outside of that, and one or two other costume, or power-ups, the power-ups were basically the same as every other Mario game. But then there were things like clear pipes, there was stuff. Uh, I, I don't think Nabbit was brought in in this. I think that was, that would have been Super Mario, uh, Super Mario Bros. U that brought Nabbit in. So, yeah, I, I cannot remember any of what was brought in. Oh, I got it this time! Look at that! <laughs> uh, I almost died, but I got it. Oh, this is... This is not good. But I got the flag, so we won't have to start from the beginning again. Yay! I really got to focus. Because I shouldn't just go out and touch everything. People get in a lot of trouble for just going out and touching things. Um, won't go into that. Let's see, what is in this box? Ooh, coins. Yeah, um, let's see. Since I, I really can't think of too much more to really talk about Mario, I can just go back into to Wii U ports. Or, yeah, Wii U ports on the Switch. I looked away just long enough to touch that spike. <sighs> I'm sorry, I am failing here. Um, like I said, I've never gotten the ability to play and talk uh, at the same time I get distracted real easy by myself cuz I'm just here by myself in quarantine it's fun times for nobody um, but anyway not on that back to uh, some of the awesome games that were uh, taken from the Wii U way too early uh, this is going to be a minute. Okay, so instead of falling and dying, I'm going to just sit here and push A until he leaves. There, get out of here, you. Alright, we got it. We got it this time. Yay. Uh, let's see, what else did they... They took Captain Toad, which was really... Did I not go in? Oh, I sure didn't. Why am I... Alright, there we go. Uh, they, let's see, they took Captain Toad from us, they took uh, Donkey Kong, uh, Trop uh, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze, which was a really good one. Uh, they took, let's see, Bayonetta 2 is not exclusive anymore. It got ported on there. Uh, Wonderful 101 is getting taken away too. I thought that one would be safe just because of all the, the touch screen controls for uh, making the shapes to... Uh, like, make the weapons and stuff, and I die talking again. <laughs> yeah, you know what? No more talking. We're just gonna focus. We are gonna beat this level, even if it kills us. And it has definitely been doing that. <laughs> Alright, let's see if I can get past that again. It's an interesting tidbit. They did like in a lot of uh, current Mario games, they gave Luigi his uh, extra height jumping ability and slightly faster running speeds. Um, and, let's see, Toad... Toad was definitely the fastest runner, for sure. Uh, Mario was just evenly balanced all the way. And... Uh, now that I think about it, maybe Luigi was slower, but he jumped higher. I knew there was something that, like, definitely took away from him. Uh, and then Peach could glide, but she was also kind of slow. Oh, good. I need the star. If I'm going to survive, I need cheats. Let's see if I can kill it. 
Oh, we got it. Right before the end, we got it. So I should be able to get these green coins like nothing. Probably still should have went the other way. Yep, I didn't get it. I probably should have just jumped over him and took the chance, but, you know, didn't want to die again. <laughs> so, uh, there's freaking bees now, too. Oh, man, I... <sighs> he slid. He freaking slid. That that was the downside to Luigi, uh, was all the freaking sliding. Um, and I... I got this feeling like we're not going to be able to do this before I run out of time. So this will be the last attempt since we're already sitting at 15 minutes. Uh, just because I want to make sure that this can upload before the end of the night. And that uh, I can get one more. Uh, because I'm wanting to do one other side series. Um, which I'll go ahead and explain in this one. That way it's not a complete surprise when it shows up at midnight and or 1 a.m. Um... I want to do one other one because I've got the Superboy S, which if you don't know what that is, it's a handheld Super Nintendo that actually plays the cartridges. Uh, if I use the fireball, I should be able to make it. Anyway, it, uh, yeah, we're going to ignore the star this time. You, you've seen that it's there and how to get the coins and do exactly the opposite of what I do. Um, but the Superboy S, uh, I want to do one of these four because you can set it up. And I've got a wireless uh, Super Nintendo controller that works with it. Uh, so I want to be able to do a few of those uh, before my quarantine ends. I think I'm actually at the end of the level. Oh, there it is! Alright, we. Uh, I think we did it. So, while I'm in quarantine, while everybody else is in quarantine, everybody's trying not to catch uh, COVID-19, oh, this is not going to work. Oh, you know what? I'll just walk around him. <laughs> That's fine. Um... See, I go back, if it's open still at the time, I'll go back on the 13th, so the day after Easter. So I'm going to try to do these two tonight, this one and then the, the Superboy um, Let's Play. I'm thinking calling it Super, what was it, Super Let's Play Tabletop. That's real lame, I know, but it, whatever, I don't care. I didn't ask you for your opinion on titles. Just to tell me what to play. Um, but I'm going to try to get one of each of those started tonight. And then starting tomorrow, I'm going to try to do one of each series that I've got going uh, per day for the next eight days after that. So, like in the morning, you'll probably see like the Superboy S. Uh, and then uh, middle of the afternoon, I will probably do... Uh, I'm still going to work this one out, but, you know, it'll be one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one at night. It'll be each one. You'll get a new episode of, of uh, Let's Play Tabletop U, uh, Super Let's Play Tabletop, and uh, Let's Play Tabletop Season 3. So that way, by the end, uh, Season 3 will have 13 episodes, uh, Super Let's Play will have 9 and let's play tabletop you will have nine and i feel like that should be plenty of content so if this goes on for a while people can watch all these uh it'll kill some time it'll be great you'll, you'll have fun i'll have fun everybody has fun so this is where we're gonna leave you uh just like, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see, if you want to see more of this, if you want to see more of other things. If you want me to stop this completely, definitely say so. If I get enough of those, I will probably not do any more of these again. Uh, but I haven't gotten those, so we're just going to assume that, like, uh, five people like watching this. And for you five people, I'll keep doing it. So, yeah, I will catch you guys next time.